Hello. Now has come the time to continue our exploration with gravity dredging, or as some might properly say, gravity sluicing. We're going to have a two-day attack on the hole we had tested last summer. So let's get started. One of the first steps that we need to do is prime the hose. And we've decided to start with the uphill end and place the rest of the hose in the water all the while trying to get the get the bubbles out keep the air bubble at this end of the hose so that as we put it all in when we're done it should be all full of water and ready to go we have our hose where we want to start and dredge and we have it submerged it's floating nicely on the bottom A little bit of an upbreak there. Have our hose coming out here. Right on down into our food spot. Okay, here's the spot we're going to dredge. In the winter time, the water was really channeling over in between those rocks there. And we did some testing here last year and got colors. So we're going to try and uh, see what's down underneath. We moved some of the bigger stones and rocks out of the hole and uh, now we're all set to dredge for the first time. I'm sure we'll each clog it as we take our turn to learn how much material we can get to go through the hose. The tip has a two and a half inch nozzle with a bar welded across to further reduce the size of the rocks that, to, that together can jam up in the hose. It's a lot better to dredge slow than to find and have to remove rock jams from the hose. Here we are in the morning of the second day. We made a couple of changes to our uh, pipe. Um, we noticed that it was uh, hanging down in the water creating ups and downs. So now we've got it all up on the surface. So it's a smooth, gradual run. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We added some floats in the deepest parts. And now we've got a nice gentle slope. Hope that makes the material go through faster. We removed most of the overburden from this portion of the hole yesterday. So now we're getting down to the good dirt and we need to stop and break it up, remove the big rocks and start moving out some of the smaller stones so we can just suck the fines and the little gravels that are left there. The dredging seemed to work best when the water was clear and you could see what you were doing. That's why I was wearing my mask and putting my face in the water so that I could see the rocks and the dirt. It made it easier to clear and suck and not get it clogged. In the future, we're going to try to make this a three-man effort. One man dredging, uh, the other two moving rocks. Since the hole was so small, it's kind of a one-man hole right now, but I think the next time we'll be able to work on the sides and move rocks without disturbing all the sediments and making the hole all murky. On the first day, we used like a double sluice box setup, one the second one to check us to make sure that uh, we were catching everything in the first. Um, the first box has the, the deeper riffles now made for dredging, and you can see that the material drops straight to the bottom. And here's the results of our two-day effort. While it's not a lot of gold, it's more than we got the last time, and gold started showing up more at the end of the day so we think we may be starting to hit the spot where who knows uh, but that's for next time and I just can't wait to get back in the water